Welcome to Stockholm Film Festival. I hope you're, you will have a good time and you will enjoy yourself. Thank you. It's fantastic to be here with the movie. It's a great privilege. How would you describe your uh, your film, Painless? Well, Painless is a is a thriller. It's a, it's a historical drama. It's also in some kind in some terms a horror movie maybe. Uh, it's a blend of all these things, and uh, it's a movie that uh, that happens in, uh, in some very dark years of Spanish history. Dur Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, it's a movie that happens during uh, a few years previous to the civil war, during the civil, the Spanish civil war, and after during the first years of the dictatorship. And it intertwines two different stories: a story of a of a group of children who are ins insensitive to pain. They they can't feel pain, so they they grow up with a very distorted uh, um, vision of the world, and uh, and the way they relate to their ho their own uh, humanity is very very different from other people. And uh, on the other side, there's a story of um, of David, a uh, uh, surgeon today, who discovers that is. Um, he doesn't come from where he thought he, c he he's not the person that he thinks he is, and uh, and all his background, his family background, it, uh, appears to be uh, something that he didn't quite expect. So he, he goes to search on his own uh, roots, uh, on his own ancestry, and, he, and it, what he finds out, he discovers some pretty, pretty terrible things, no? and uh, that connect him his his own private history to the the big history of the country as a whole. You say it's a slightly horror movie. Uh, how come this is your first featured film? How come yes. you... Well, uh, I, I think uh, th there is a certain part of Spanish uh, history that you can only touch. I mean, if you touch it, uh, you might al always kind of go into a horror story because it's uh, it's very dark years and, and, and terrible things happened. and. Uh, and, and if you want to be honest in the way you tell it, it's uh, it's uh, it's kind of a scary time. So it kind of naturally bends the movie towards a, a horror film in a way. The film focuses in Spain during the civil civil war. How come you take a special interest in this uh, period of time? Well, I, I think it's uh, well the the movie actually there is couple of scenes during the civil war but it's mostly um, in the years after actually in the post-war in the first years of the dictatorship I think it's an important period in Spanish history because the, it's uh, it's where it's the big tragic moment of the the Spanish people in 20th century and it's where a, a lot of things that would happen later brewed first in Spain for, for instance World War two was first uh, rehearsed um, Spain and uh, if the Spanish war outcome would have been different maybe uh, what happened after that would have been slightly different no? so it's an important time in, in European history and also in the history of Spanish people and for me it was uh, it was kind of logical it's, it's, it's like a kind of dark hole in the, in, the, in the consciousness of Spanish people where all the ghosts come from there you know all the the unsolved issues of the spanish people come from there and also my own family i have been told stories from my father from my grandparents so my father is spanish and um, that come from that time no? and that explain who my family is where they come from etc the spotlight of this year's stockholm film festival is power do you see any aspects in power in your film Power. Well, that's a that's a broad um, concept. Uh, I mean, yes, in the political side, I, I you could say um, it, it's um, it's how how power how absolute power on the political side can uh, can just. Um, Use any means n necessary to uh, to establish its rule, no, in in a, in a way, uh, crushing everything around. No, it's. Uh, uh, I I think the film uh, shows how, at a certain time, it, um, it
it has been thought by certain people in Spain that, for instance, uh, uh, to, to to ensure order, to use pow absolute power to ensure order was more important than to, to allow people to have human lives, I mean, to, to be human, etc. So maybe that's the connection. I don't know. Well, thank you, and uh, welcome to Stockholm. Thank you. <laughs>